time on Rippers. Dun, dun, dun. You all um, went to a, well, you were sent by Mina Harker to Kingston Lance Lacey to um, speak to a, an important man, uh, Lord Banks, um, to try and get his um, assistance for the um, for the Rippers. He's a very influential and uh, wealthy man and um, having him on board as a benefactor for the rippers would be uh, something of a coup for the rippers so you were sent there to um, to speak to him and a diplomatic mission if you like to uh, to sound him out and see if he might be um, amicable to um, to supporting the the rippers and uh, from what you spoke to him so far he does appear a man who um, whose interests could align with yours and um, so that's a uh, fairly exciting. You're spending the weekend here at the uh, Kingston Lancey soiree that uh, Lord Banks has put on. Uh, you are here with uh, some other gentlemen. I'll just show you who they are. Also attending the soiree is Colonel Armstrong Prothero. Uh, Colonel Armstrong is a retired army officer of the British Army. Um, he's got a, a wicked scar on his uh, hand. And then there's also Chief Inspect Superintendent Maxwell Pudgett. He is a man who is a uh, local man, um, somewhat below the aristocracy. Um, the, blow the station of the other guests here and it sort of shows he's a little on edge uh, throughout the uh, well, certainly throughout last yesterday evening there's Enrico Gambuccini who is a um, an Italian art collector you uh, spoke to There's also Jonathan Jellico. He is a Conservative uh, M Member of Parliament, politician. And finally, we have Omar Mohammed, a, a very interesting archaeologist um, from uh, Cairo University. He uh, arrives fresh from a dig in the Middle East, which is particularly interested, uh, interesting to Lord Banks. Oh, and of course, I've got a picture of uh, Sir William Banks. Uh, here's a very dapper gentleman. So, um, while you've been here, the uh, evening has been progressing well. You've been uh, quite enjoying I yourselves. Remember, uh, Enrico was super angry and came to punch us. He did, he did indeed. Um, you you heard that you were out in the gardens and you heard a disturbance. I think I'll uh, I'll run this from in the garden. So I'll put you onto the uh, Kingston Lacey grounds map. I'll just reshare it with you. I've got two displays up and I'm getting confused which one's the GM or client, which one's the other. <laughs> uh, we have the Lacey Grants, at least I have it. There we go, should I have it now? So let's see. I need you all on the internet. And I've forgotten to give you bennies, that's no good. And the adventure cards. And adventure cards. Want everything these players, I don't know. I 
There you go, so you should have adventure cards and your correct amount of bennies. And you're correct, there was a disturbance in the afternoon and um, you were um, making your way back to the uh, mansion uh, to see what the, the cause of the disturbance was and um, you see uh, Enrico Gambaccini, he uh, comes storming um, out of the property, he um, slams the uh, door so uh, violently that the thin glass in the frame um, shatters and spills out onto the floor and he comes um, sort of barreling uh, towards you. Am I the only one who doesn't see us on the map? Hey. Ah, there we are. <laughs> Just putting you on. <laughs> that was really quick. Interrupt all of his color already. Alright, so I'm going to go straight into it today. Oh, Henrico goes first. I think I've set this map up so each square actually represents two squares of uh, pace. Um, well, I, I think I'm going to start by saying, hey Henrico. What's the matter? Why are you so angry? Out of my way, you English fool! I'm not English, I'm German! These are fighting words! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> okay, he uh, insults your nationality. <laughs> Something awful. And um, he begins to sort of run off in the, in the direction of the bridge there. I'm curious, I'm gonna follow him. Okay, well, clock's up. You could uh, just uh, let him go and try and follow him, or you can um, try and stop him, if you wish. Is he he doesn't look... Or? The person leaving the place or going towards the obelisk or something? He looks like he's heading down towards the um, bridge at the moment. You can't really see where he's going to head after that though. But he's not carrying a gun or anything. You'll notice that he has actually got a sabre um, at his side. He's not holding it in his hands at the moment, but he is armed. So, Clark is... Getting after him, I see. <laughs> Suppressive fire. Oh. Um, oh, it should be at the top right hand side. There should be a button with init uh, written on it for initiative. That's it. Right, Carl, what would you like to do? Uh, he didn't, uh, he didn't answer the Clark's yelling. Um, sorry, what did you, um, what did Clark yell? What's going on? Where are you heading? Oh, well, I'm sorry, I thought you I thought you were asking me. <laughs> I thought you were asking the GM. Um, he, uh, he, he just, uh, He'll just say, out of my way, out of my way. Yeah, 
uh, oh, and nobody else is coming out or staring. From inside, you can hear a uh, a woman scream. Um, from from inside. Okay, change of plans. I'm going inside uh, and check what's happening in, inside. Sure. Be able to move yourself up on. I'll put you on the other map. Actually, I'll put you on the inside. You'll be able to get you into the drawing room. There you go. All right. So if you if that's what you're up to, uh, if you want to end your turn, that's cool. Carl, check out uh, the card Clark is offering you. Hmm? Uh, check out the card. Oh, that's useful. I'm just going to walk next to him and gently remind him that I'm not an Englishman. <laughs> you could try and intimidate if you wish. Or taunt, yeah, maybe? That's, that's what I want to roll. Okay. Uh, Alright, who wants my card then? Uh, I just got two power cards now. And I fail miserably. Well, hey! <laughs> unfortunately, he critical failed. Um, so um, he will. Um, he um, stops um, and uh, turns around and. Um, he says, he looks, um, that you, uh, uh, of course, uh, of course you're not English, of course, um, I, uh, uh, uh back off, L leave me alone. Enrico, mia bambino, what's the matter? <laughs> oh, yeah, I've forgotten his Italian accent. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to remedy that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to punch him or something. Just like, because I want the Intimidate roll, I'm just... What's going on? Why did that woman scream? I'm inside trying to find out now. Uh, I haven't gotten the map yet, but uh, I'll see when I get the map, probably. Or maybe... Does it respond, or are we in this, should I just move the turn? Sorry, I will respond to you one moment. Probably have to wait my turn to look what's happening, I guess. It's that, uh, it was that uh, imbecile, um, that, that Englishman, um, Maxwell, the, the policeman. He was uh, running around in my, uh, in the house. Running around, looking at my stuff. Well, he certainly has a girlish scream. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know what's. Uh, just, just leave me be, leave me be, and he'll uh, turn and begin to um, stomp once more. Um, you can see he's clearly rattled, particularly with your uh, intimidation. There, he's. Um, I'm going to give him the trick condition. Okay, I think I'll. I won't do anything else until we know more facts, right? Sure. So. Mm, do I know where Maxwell Budget is? Um, you think um, some of the you uh, look around, you can't see him out here. Um, no, you're not sure actually. I'll just follow um, Enrico then and try to minimize any damage he may do with that rape. Okay. Oh, so Henry, you've got a joke which gives everybody a Benny. You can hold if you wish um, your, your action. Um, I'm gonna hold then because nothing bad has really happened yet. So.
All right. Uh, I'm inside. I'm still trying to follow uh, the scream from the inside. Okay, the uh, entrance way to the um, hall is um, open. You will see um, in here that um, um, Sir Banks is in the um, hallway. Um, he said, that the scream, it, it came from stairs. Uh, my, my dear, what on earth's wrong? He'll call up the stairs. He's dead! He's dead! Murdered! You will hear a woman's voice cry. Sounds like one of the uh, serving staff. Okay, and you'll uh, you'll run upstairs there, will you, Carl? Play back as far as you can get, I reckon, this term. Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, you can hold as well if you like. Let's hold your action. That's right, yeah, Clark, yeah, he did. Yeah, but it's a uh, persuade. Be opposed by his. Uh, I'm going to put it on spirit, actually. How you know, spirited he is. Yep, yeah, you can indeed. You can have it, give it a go. We believe in you. <laughs> So you'll set the target number for him to try and hit with his uh, spirit dice. All right, you're on with a two there. Do you want to? You could spend a Benny if you like to try and get a better result. At the moment, he's got to get a two on his spirit roll to be more cooperative. You can calm him down basically with your persuade. Good luck. Yeah, it's always a minus two because you haven't got the skill yet. There is an edge you can buy called a LAN, which means that you... Oh, <laughs> I was a critical failure. <laughs> um, but um, you can actually um, spend another Benny if you want, because you can always take the best result when you're, uh, when you're spending Benny. So you've still got the two, you can keep the two. Do you want to try again or do you want to leave it with two? All right. Are you sticking with the two? Save some bennies. <laughs> if you're spending your bennies for you. <laughs> two it is, okay. 
even with a two i'm afraid it's because you set the target number it is a um, pass you don't manage to um, calm him down and i, I would have um, you would have prevented him doing this which is uh, basically he um, draws out his rapier and says damn you <clears throat> sorry he's italian isn't he uh, damn you uh, you rippers i um i will not stand for your uh, interference any longer and um he will um jab forward with his um, rapier towards you yeah he seems to know something oh it's a hit on you Damn it, I'm sorry, he's really quite tough. Um, do you want to make a, um, a soap roll? Oh, actually, um, one second. He should have had a minus two to that because he drew on the same round. However, it's still a hit, so sorry, it didn't make any difference. Still a hit. Anyone got a card that can help him? Yeah, I've still got Now's two Benny. Now's the time you use your Benny. Yeah. Can we stop holding at this very moment and uh, kind of go three against one on him? Okay, that's um, you're saving one of the wounds there, um, Clark. And to answer your question, yes, you can indeed. It was quite naughty of me, actually, um, because I forgot that you're, in fact, um, all... Well, the other two of you are on hold, apart from Clark, who was... Well, I suppose you only... Um, if you want, I'll let you um, be on hold there, there, Clark. So, essentially, you can all make an opposed agility roll. Um, and this uh, basically means, because you're all trying to act at the um, same time, it's basically who gets the highest agility roll, that'll be the initiative order for it. So if you want to roll agility. So he's going on a five. Um, so at the moment he's going faster than Alphonse, but Sir Henry, you can actually go first. So if you could shake him or knock him out, you could stop this blow going in on uh, Clark. So you may as well give that a whirl, I guess. Let me try my... Ooh, my walking stick on him. Not a bad hit. Um, you've got a raise, so that's good. You get the extra damage dice. One wound. He will try and soak it. Oh damn it! I've just... Oh no! I've just messed. <laughs> Sorry, I've messed up. I, I rolled the wrong soak. Oops. Sorry, Clark. I'll give you a Benny back. At least they got the wounds out. <laughs> okay, I'll soak for the right character this time. Sorry about that. Um, he does manage to soak that wound, so um, he will... Um, parry a lot of it, uh, the, the blow that's uh, coming in, and you'll just sort of nick his shoulder a little bit, but it's not enough to uh, do any serious damage to him. Enrico, calm down. We are not the enemy. However, I'm going to put um, Clark back as he was. Seven soak. So at the moment, unless you want to um, try again to soak, you're going to take one wound uh, here, uh, Clark. Oh yeah, you're getting a plus one parry. Um, oh, is this on Clark? Let me just see what he rolled on you. He rolled an 11 to hit, it should be minus three, so that's a... Uh, 
eight. It's still just a hit on your clocks, so it wouldn't make any difference. Well, shaking is nasty, yeah. All right, you take a, a wound there. However, um, sometimes a wound is a good thing. It gives you extra bonuses. Uh, Carl, will you try to uh, come off hold? Uh, off hold? Yeah, I think did you uh, hold. Oh no, you ran, didn't you? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm getting muddled yeah, up. Yeah, he's in the house. I'm running upstairs. Uh, probably gonna go move right outside. I hear a commotion, but Rico's had his game. He's uh, recovered from the effects of the uh, intimidation. Alphonse, you're up. Okay, so Alphonse is going to try and do two actions, but non-lethal because we don't know what happened yet. Okay, non lethal's at minus one. I'm thinking just punching. We use sure. walking stick to shove him up the head. You could try disarm also. Uh, what what move is disarm? Disarm, I think it's an opposed fighting role, and then it's a strength check that he'll need to make against whatever damage you do. Um, I think you also hit his arm, but it won't uh, kill him. Let me just check. Okay, it's a minus two to attack, and then the defender will make a strength roll versus um, the damage, or he drops his weapon. So minus two to fighting. Minus two to fighting, yeah, but um, if you hit, you'll hit his um, sword, and you'll, you might, um, might uh, disarm him. Okay, so I'll give that a try. It's up to you, or you can have minus one and you're just doing subduing damage is another way to do it. It's up to you, what, however you want to do it. And the sound sounds good. So just a fighting roll. Fighting roll at minus two for this, yeah. Oh, it's good. So you um, strike against his... Um, against his rapier uh, if you want to uh, roll damage um <laughs> so we, uh, which uh, roll do i do for damage just a random punch um if you're hitting him with your um fist yeah if you it depends whatever you're hitting him with okay so he needs to make a strength roll and get a four to keep hold of his weapon he does. You will um, sort of bash it against his uh, rapier. Um, he manages just to hold on to it, though. Okay. Clark, you unshake. You're no longer stunned. Shoot this mustache off. <laughs> All right, so minus one to uh, to hit to do that, Clark. We still believe in you, only slightly less. <laughs> it's a good hit. Uh, 
it's enough to shake him so he's looking stunned from that blow. And if you want to end your turn, if, you, if you're done. Okay, I'm gonna try and stab him with my rapiers. Alright. Now I'm using two actions, but I don't get a negative buff to the offhand because I'm ambidextrous. That's good. <laughs> he lops his head off. One. That's a mess. If you, if you, <laughs> wow, that's a mess. Also, if you um, drop the attack die onto his token on the map it, or on the combat tracker, it'll target him. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, um, so I'll use a Benny to reward one of them. All right. Good hit. Okay, I'm aiming for his sword hand. Not for his head, his sword hand. Alright. Hooray! Boo! He, uh, <laughs> he soaks it, but he's out of uh, Benny's now. If you want to end your turn, if you don't. So. Okay, so I'm going to step in and try to disarm him, so that should give me a minus two to disarm, but then another plus two for uh, ganging up with three of us? Uh, that's true, but it automatically calculates the gang up bonus now, that last patch did it, so you don't need to worry about the gang up, just do uh, all the other stuff. Okay. Which is brilliant, I'm loving it. It's just like one less modifier to worry about. <laughs> To mess as it stands, would you like to Benny it? I'm going sure, to Benny that. John, we believe in you. I cannot win. I'm just gonna stand there and keep jabbing at him ineffectually and then pass the turn. But I look very dapper doing it. That's okay, John. You still have your money. <laughs> to keep me warm. Alright, um, I'll be fair with this one to two. It's um, Lord Ashcroft and I will uh, go round clockwise. Sorry, he's uh, got it in for you, Clark. Where is Sir William in all of this? Uh, Sir William's at the bottom of the uh, stairs. He's um, there with Alphonse. Kind of weird. It looks like it didn't calculate the ganging up bonus. Is that me or is it just... No, no, you see Enrico ganging up plus two equals five. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah.
just hits you, only just. Just a stun on you. All right, Carl. All right, no uh, way for me to be able to join the battle this round. Even uh, if I'm running. Go to the balcony. You'll yeah, have the height advantage. Maybe thinking the same thing. Uh, and then jump right on top of him, knocking him out. Nah, I prefer shooting him in that case. <laughs> With the, the way you roll, he's going to land at me, so... <laughs> stick to shooting. Uh, the, or, uh, my rifle, uh, is it in my room, by the way? Um, I imagine it would have been, unless you were planning on doing any uh, hunting or shooting while you're out in the gardens in the afternoon, they do pigeon shooting and the like. Try not uh, to I shoot him in the that. head. <laughs> so, if he mutates a super monster, I know where I can get my rifle, but until then, I'm just going to keep running uh, uh, 12 moves uh, my, my, it's d6 if you're running so 6 plus d6 isn't it um, yeah on the main tab of your character there's a pace button if you um, double click that it should tell you a total move or you can just roll the d6 I guess The main tab? Oh, I apologize. No, it's on the um, skills tab, <laughs> as you do. It's under derive stats and the uh, towards the middle. All right, there. Yeah, sorry, Clark didn't do enough to cause a wound. It, but it has shaken him. He's stunned. Uh, what's the way to? To roll the dice, was it from there? Yeah, if you click on the little black square, um, it should roll it. That's it. So you've got very, 11 moving tool. Yeah. So I guess you get another 5 move. Alright, um, just on the landing there, you'll kind of run uh, past her. Um, there's uh, one of the. Um, maids um she's in tears and she's saying he's dead dead his his, his head uh, smashed in it, it's in it's in that italian's room head smashed in seriously that's he has some strength she's being hysterical slap her maybe i should <laughs> right, so sorry carlton that's about as far as you can get let's go However, you you come back with a vengeance. You've got a you get everyone a Benny, and you have a Joker. So uh, you got plus two to pretty much everything this turn. Remember, her wound is probably bothering her. That's why she's hysterical. This is Victorian times, after all. Yes, you probably have a fainting couch in Victorian times somewhere. Should have fainted, smelling salts and like. So if I'm gonna be running and uh, and shooting as soon as I hit the balcony, hmm. yeah, that's a minus two, and then right, I guess, just a minus two. I mean, yes, um, yeah, it will be minus two, but you're gonna get a plus two automatically added on to it for you for the joker so yeah if you put a minus two in your modifier box you should be able to move out there and shoot uh, i don't think you get the bonus to that so you've got 11 squares of movement should get you onto the balcony if that's where you were going can i hit him from here you um yes certainly um Take a shot at him. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put you on the other maps uh, temporarily, Carl, just to be, um, so, to be confusing. Bing. There we go. But it'll work out the range for you and things now. So you can uh, fire away. You've got a minus two to this because you're sprinting and rushing. Good luck. 
Oh, and if you miss and roll a one, you'll shoot one of your friends, but don't worry about that. <laughs> That's okay. Shoot true, Carl. We believe in you. <laughs> Well, you didn't um, you didn't shoot any of your friends, but you don't hit either unless you want to spend a Benny on that. I'm going Benny that, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the spirit. Oh, that's a much better shot, really accurate. <laughs> you, you should be able to turn it down your end if you uh, if you need to. And it's too loud for you. Uh, right, uh, did I hit? Oh. You yeah. did, yeah, with the razors also. Oh, a good shot. Okay, you um, shoot him and um, the uh, bullet, you'll see it uh, pierces into his shoulder. It goes whistling past him. Um, Paul Clark's ear and um, embeds itself into uh, into Enrico's shoulder. He remains shaken, but uh, you hear a clatter as the rapier falls to the ground, and um, he as he drops it. Uh, all right, all right, I I I I, I give in, I give in, and he surrenders before you. You rippers, you! Tell us what happened. What did you do? He killed someone. I didn't know such thing. I killed. I killed no one. There's supposed to be a dead body up here. I, 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 I had an argument. It is all. I argue. I do not hurt anyone. Let's have this discussion in a more enclosed location. Yeah, I'm gonna find, go find out who died and uh, how bad the situation is. All right, we'll drop out of rounds then, and um, you may, if you wish, try and heal Clark. You have an hour, a golden hour, to try and heal him if anyone's got the healing skill. It'll be oh, it's that bad. Uh, yeah, he's a he's in a bit of pain there at the moment. He's got a nasty rapier wound. Um, Wait, I, I had uh, stuff ready for my turn. That's alright. Uh, I think you need the so, uh, skill you need. Just put some spit in it and walk on. He's very right. Look at Henry's <laughs> eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably poking him at this moment with my rapier trying to make things better. The trick is to remove the knife wound by inserting a new knife. Killing the wound <laughs> as you will. If you don't manage to heal it now, you'll um, have to heal naturally, which means in five days time you'll get a figure check to try and clear it. Don't well, worry. alas Clark, we knew you well. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's alright, he's just in a bit of pain. You can try on yourself as well, actually, Clark, if you've not already done so. Just rub some dirt into it. I hear cow manure is very good at treating wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Someone bring the leeches. Okay, can we grab Enrico into one of our rooms? So we can discuss this Reaper matter in private. There are way too many people ar around him. Absolutely, yes, you could do that. Um, you can. You'll see the other guests now are starting to assemble, sort of in the hall. They're all coming to see what the commotion's about. And Rico will come along um, quietly, though he looks um, red-faced and somewhat um, angry. I kill no one. I I do nothing. I am innocent. 
You attack me for no reason. Don't worry, citizens. As part of the neighborhood watch in London, we got this. <laughs> You chasing me, you chase me. Where were you going anyway? Wait, let's drag him into the room. One of the bedrooms. And then we'll start the interrogation. Okay, I've, I'll put you all back into the house map. <laughs> okay, get the whole tour equipment out. Look, Banks will, um, as you're moving him into one of the bedrooms, um, Lord Banks will say, um, I, I don't know what's going on, this is terrible, a, a murder at the estate. Uh, we don't have such things at uh, Kingston Lacey. Um, by all means, if you wish, if you can um, solve uh, who did this, uh, then. Um, I'm happy to uh, give you the time to do so before I contact the authorities. We should probably get Budget in here as well. He's at I least halfway involved. Sir William. Now, if you can make one request, make sure no one leaves the premises. We still don't know if Enrico really is the culprit. Of course, says Sir Banks. I shall uh, endeavour to make sure that uh, all the guests remain on the estate until until further notice. Wonderful. Thank you very much. So, um, which bed bedroom are you taking Enrico to? How about mine in the far left corner? Where is, the, uh, where is the body of the murder uh, happened? It's in Enrico's room. Oh, right. So, probably go on over there and investigate the place, eh? I'm vengeful, so I'm gonna stay and punch Enrico for a while. <laughs> Alright. I have an investigation, so I'm probably going to... Um... Take a quick look at Enrico's room as well. I have nothing to do here unless you want the door uh, uh, lock picked. But I can still look around. You can indeed. Okay, so you head into Enrico's room. Um, if you'd like to make me a um, notice. Um, Check if you would. Grief, who's that? Is it Henry? Okay. I had to be useful at some point. You're not kidding, that's three raises, so um, four successes, five successes in total means I can give you five bits of information. Um, unless anyone else wants to have a look as well and. Um, yeah, DNA So Clark. I set up my portable lab. Okay. I'm gonna intimidate have, Enrico and try to figure out how do you know we're Reapers? Where did that come from? Alright, okay. I'll... Okay, Alphonse, uh, Enrico. Tells you everything. <laughs> the choice of having your enemy mortally wounded. Yeah, he he would have um, resisted, but um, the pain in his arm and things, he's actually quite fearful of you now. I'm like poking his uh, bullet holes <laughs> while I talk to him. I um I I come from the, the Vatican. Uh, we 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 hear that Mina is sending people to uh, v visit. Uh, Sir Banks, we 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 just uh, interested in uh, what your organisation is doing. This is how I come to know you are rippers. I am uh, a a Vatican official. I 
I do not murder uh, people. I am innocent of all, all crimes. You must believe me. Tell that to Clark. Look, look at his wound. And I poke Clark's wound. <laughs> <laughs> you shot me, you shot me. You stabbed us first. Look at Clark. <laughs> and I poke again. <laughs> I, I, I was trying to escape. I was uh, angry. That uh, stupid uh, policeman. He, uh, he was looking through my things. I, uh, we, we argued. What did you argue about? What do you have to hide, Mr. Vatican? I just wish he, he did not want him in my room. He, uh, he has no business in my things. That's no reason to smash his head. I didn't know such thing. I didn't know such thing. All right. I think at this point in time, we'll just um, pan over to the uh, others and uh, who are in Enrico's room. This is the Vatican guy's room. In here. You got quite a few successes, I think. Didn't you? Five of them. You did, so I can give you five bits of information. So, in this room, you notice that um, you see Maxwell uh, Puget. Who is this guy? He is lying in a pool of blood on the floor with his skull dashed in. He appears to have been killed uh, by two blows to their head by a blunt object. Looking around the body, you can see blood's pooled around the body and you can see a shoe print, a uh, man's shoe print just uh, next to the body. I will make a small note of it and uh, make sure to compare shoes later on with everyone else. Because you got so high on your notice uh, rolls to uh, sort of snoop around, you notice also that on the way in there's a few spots of blood lying on the carpet in the corridor several feet from the entrance of Enrico's room. Some blood outside. Taking a look out of the window, you can see that um, you notice something in the bushes just beneath the window. Um, looking a little closer, you'll find that it appears to be a pair of shoes um, in the bushes. But no sign of something with blood on, like a, um, a candlestick. No, however, you notice that in, in the... Um, oh, well, I'll do something different for that. I think um, you notice that at the top of the stairs, um, you'll have noticed on your way uh, past, uh, onto the, uh, to, and you're heading towards his room, um, there is a tall vase, and um, in it, there's been um, stuffed in it is a bloodstained shirt. It's uh, all been bundled up and um, stuffed and hidden in a, in a vase there on the landing. Was there a blood trail going anywhere? Like there's some blood outside of the room, but the attacker probably didn't get uh, didn't get too damaged during the scuffle. Yeah, there's some blood um, blood outside the room. Uh, there might be other things to notice here. You've just sort of at the moment walked to Enrico's room. So, yeah, to check if Enrico is wearing shoes. Enrico is wearing uh, shoes. He might have brought multiple pairs, I suppose. Probably yeah, dead. Fine. Can I try and find out what shoe size everyone has? And then compare them? I mean... These guys are probably well off, so I'm guessing these these are probably handmade shoes that are made on the last, made for one person. 
they are. These shoes, you'll fish them out of the bushes downstairs and you find out they are, in fact, Italian shoes, Italian-made shoes, and they do um, fit um, Enrico. In fact, Enrico will say, yes, they are mine, but um, I, uh, I, as you can see, I am wearing, uh, I'm wearing my other pair at the moment. I, I've not, uh, worn those since dinner last night. Can we question uh, the maid? Oh, well, um, yes, sir. I, I, I'll help you. I don't know what, what to say, sir. I was just uh, cleaning. I heard it, it, some shouting, and uh, I looked around, and, um, and there was the man there lying dead. It, it's awful. I've never seen a, a body before. Does Enrico recognize the shirt as his also? The the shirt. Um... The bloody shirt that was stuffed in the plant uh, waste. Th this is uh, not my shirt. I. Uh... <laughs> this is you hitting you. <laughs> <laughs> Th this is uh, not my shirt. You can see it's, it's not even my size. It would not fit, and I would not wear such a garment. And anyway, it um, is tasteless. The shirt is indeed most likely not Enrico's. Doesn't look like okay. it fits him. Well, uh, what I do is I basically grab the maid by the shoulders and tell her to stare into my eyes, to breathe slowly and relax, and tell me what she saw. Give me a persuade check to try and calm her down. Unskilled it is. <laughs> right. Look into my eyes, calm down, and oddly it works. She. <laughs> She uh, does. Uh, she breathes um, slowly and uh, takes a, a deep breath. All right, sir. Um, what, what do you, you want to know? Tell me everything you saw that led to the scream. Well, sir, I, I heard uh, so, some ar arguing there. Uh, the the Italian gentleman and. Um, it sounds like the, the superintendent um, uh, shouting uh, about something. I uh, make a point not to hear what uh, folks are, are talking about, but uh, it, it sounded like um, um, that uh, Enrico had been um, in his room um, or, or, or something, um, and, um, and, the, and the inspector wasn't pleased about this. Did they go and get into a fight? Uh, I, I heard an argument, but uh, I, I did, didn't hear um, anything else. I, I was in um, I was in one of the bedrooms, you see, so I didn't see it. I, I just heard what was going on. There was a, a, what, a so what caused you to scream? Well, I I, I came out after. I I heard um, someone run down the steps, and um, I heard a. Um, a, a door slam, um, and I thought nothing of it, and, and carried on, on with my cleaning. But then, um, th then there was a, a, a thump, and um, a, a, another door um, went, went clashed shut. And uh, I, uh, I, I came out slowly at first. I, I, I don't pry, and I, I never pry, you see. But uh, I, um, I, I came out, and um, I, f I found uh, Enrico's room was was open, and. Um, and Mr. Uh, Mr. Pudgett was uh, in there. He was uh, his uh, head all. Um, oh, it was awful. Did you see anyone leave? Uh, no, sir. I, I didn't see anyone. I'm gonna take a look at uh, Maxwell's room. I think, and then I think we should take a look at uh, have a look around for the murder weapon. I'll just ask the girl one more thing. Give me your shoes. Certainly, sir. Oh, it's a bit odd. I haven't. Uh, I, I'm not under suspicion here, am I, sir? Of course not. I just really like made shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, That's sir. If she hands over your uh, your shoes, <laughs> slightly weird, but okay. <laughs> you should uh, sniff them a bit. 
Um, no, <laughs> what I, I would like to do is see their size, if they're the same size as the shoe print. No, the shoe print's much bigger. Um, yeah. Okay, so we can we can say that she used his extra shoes and then killed the guy. You can always wear shoes a size Open. larger, but it's harder to find shoes that I I mean, it's hard to wear shoes that are two sizes too small. So perhaps just for the murder, it could have worked. But well, my end goal is to have everybody walking barefoot. Um, I guess someone with investigation should go to the superintendent's room You're and maybe here. check the body to see if there's like a reverse cross. It maybe it was a satanist or something. You. I'm pretty sure Maxwell is hiding something. All right. So you look through Superintendent Maxwell Pudgett's room and you find nothing unusual uh, in there. It's quite. Um, Quite Spartan, really. You see, he's he's not brought as many belongings as other people, and um, you find very very little of uh, of interest. Mainly his clothes, d dinner outfits, and things like that. So the only thing left to do is get everyone into a room, all Victorian murder mystery style. I think we have to do a bit more investigating before we can start. Uh, okay, but as soon as night comes and there's lightning, someone will die. Oh, yes. Okay, so um, are you going, you're going to set up like an interview room? Are you in one of the uh, one of the rooms here? Well, we could check. Uh, the easily available uh, alibis, perhaps, first? Yeah, check where everybody were. Is everyone accounted for, by the way? Uh, is it, yeah. Everyone else is accounted for. Um, a lot of people were milling around either downstairs or uh, in the gardens. You will know that you saw immediately after the event you saw um, Sir Banks um, the rest of the guests were all downstairs there's nobody else um, upstairs you've uh, you'll... so all the other guests were downstairs yeah uh, have you, have you, we haven't searched uh, Enrico uh, if he has something in his pockets and poke his wounds yeah keep poking his wounds Oh, do you people are barbarians? You could at least uh, heal me. I, uh, I assist in your investigation. You called me an Englishman. I apologize. I apologize. I understand what a uh, sincere insult says it would be to uh, Poking cause... a bit with the healing stick. <laughs> okay, you can search him, uh, but you don't find anything uh, unusual on him. Just a lot of mundane items. Should it go to the old order? <laughs> nah, that would be... Well, he should have, like... Eh, uh, no, never mind. Yeah, I think we should get to one room and uh, maybe do some investigation. Someone who has a good... who's a good judge of character. So everyone in the games room, then? There's... There's perhaps some... Um... Although, you've not searched everywhere as well. Yeah, I'd like to do at least a, a good check for uh, the murder weapon. I mean, the guy tossed everything else, his shirt, his shoes. So at one point, someone was walking around the, ha around the house half naked. Perhaps somebody saw. Okay, right. you know what? Um, I'll try to do a tracking wall to see if I can find any like, bloody footprints or something. or. I don't know, leading from Enrico's room somewhere else. Brilliant idea, I like it. Well, we know he exited the room and then made his way through the staircase, so... 
Okay, so you... I use my witch of senses to find the, the path. You um, get down on hands and knees and you start uh, looking around on the carpeted floors of the, the, the mansion and uh, trying to find any more telltale signs of blood and you do find another blood spot a little further down the hallway and you it leads you uh, to the bathroom you swing open the bathroom door to a scene of horror inside you can see that that while the bathroom itself appears to have been uh, cleaned up you notice that there are some tiny blood spots on the uh, walls of the bathroom and um, it looks like someone they're like smeared like someone's tried to uh, clean them up but you also notice um, that on the ceiling there is uh, blood spatter um, streaks uh, and lines on the uh, ceiling of the the bathroom on the ceiling yeah and there's some smeared blood on the walls looks like it's been you know someone's tried to clear it off the walls why i'm bringing my rifle now definitely all right you get your rifle This is a classy joint, Clark. There are no stalls. Maybe a bidet will function. Yeah, the bathroom's just like one big room. And I believe... Was it Sir Henry who said he was having a, a poke around looking for the mur murder weapon? Yeah, for, uh, more notice rolls then, please, for people generally searching around. I honestly don't know what I'm searching for. I'm. Mm. Well, there's some things that you need to. There's some things I can give you just from looking around in the wider house, and there's other things that you'll need to say specifically where you're looking before you have a chance to uh, find them. However, Carl there has a raise. Oh, you shouldn't really have the Joker bonus anymore, one second. Okay, um Have I just given you also another Benny? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's better. Well, you can all have a Benny. Um All right. Uh, if it didn't go down, the if well, whoever did it wasn't Enrico, then someone else would have had to escape. So we could check the back uh, entrance and the double way there, I suppose. The stairs in the back. Well done. Because you go and have a look at the back entrance, and um, the staircase looks uh, perfectly clean. However, when you open the uh, dorm waiter up, you find that there are as blood streaks of blood on the ropes of the the dumb waiter, the pulley ropes. So not in the dumb waiter. Uh, isn't that, that a box or something? But someone has actually gone in there and climbed the ropes. Huh. Or just use the ropes to pull something up and down. I think there's basically just a box that goes up and down from one floor to the other. That's true. It's quite large, though. It would be uh, capable of fitting somebody in it. Uh, does the dumbbell weight only go between these two floors, or...? Um, uh, it, is the sign going to go any further, sub-basement or something? It does continue down into the uh, kitchen and laundry. All the servants um, live down there, live and work down there. All right, let's go down there then. Down the stairs until we see someone... Blood if I pull the ropes, off, just... Uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, down in the first floor, check if there's any blood uh, going out of the dumb there, and then I go down into the servants' quarters and check if there's any blood uh, going out of the dumb there. 
All right, the blood um, stops. There's just blood stains on the ropes, and they stop just on the uh, ground floor. Hmm. And there's nothing in the dumb waiter as well. No, it don't, don't waste is empty. There's just blood stains on the on the pulley ropes. All right, I'm trying to look around for where the blood goes. I'm gonna go with Carl keeping my gun handy. All right, you don't see any more blood here. Um, it looks like it could be somebody who's just the bloody, uh, bloody hands who's basically using the pulley ropes that's uh, caused the caused the blood in the dumb waiter. I asked Luck to give me a boost up on death and to check out the city. To check out the ceiling of the bathroom. Oh, I see. Okay, yes, you'll be able to do that. Um, so you'll... I'll, I'll let you do it without a climbing roll. You sort of... step on his wounds. <laughs> <laughs> you do. You may step on his wounds, but uh, unless you get a critical fail, I think you'll manage to do it. You can examine the roof of the bathroom, and there's like long um, streaks of blood splatter on the uh, on the ceiling. Does it look like somebody crawled on the ceiling, or just uh, the blood squirted in a line? It looks like the blood perhaps came off a, a weapon that was being wielded. So, you know, if you got a bloody weapon and shook it at the ceiling, you'd, you know, get a streak of blood up there. Is it possible he was killed okay, in like the bathroom? bathroom? Is it possible he was killed in the bathroom? They tried to clean up and then shoved the body in Enrico's room? Uh, are you do an investigation? Uh, Clark asked if there's a water tank in there. Okay, I'm gonna Benny that one. Wonderful. <laughs> We've got quite a few bennies at the moment. Yeah, I'm going to benny it again. You can actually just double click on the bennies now to um, use them as well. Quite nice. Oh, very handy. Nice. Ah, yes. Wow, because that was so high, I'm going to give you a couple of things from this. Um, yeah, the spots or streaks on the ceiling, it does look like whoever was murdered was murdered in here um, because it looks like essentially the action of pummeling someone has caused the spray on the ceiling as the uh, whatever implement was used um, got uh, covered in blood. It sort of flicked blood across the, the ceiling. It's like crime scene, whatever. So investigation. we found the murder scene. Um, again, because your investigation was so high, also um, just outside the bathroom, you notice that there is a table there, and on it there is an, uh, a statuette um, of the Egyptian god, god Bastet. However, um, there's a slight um, absence of dust, a clean bit, um, and it looks like there was another statuette standing next to it. Um, so, there used to be a pair of statuettes, but now there's only one on the table. It looks like we found our murder weapon. Oh, we gotta find that statue somewhere. Death by God. How ironic. <laughs> Wait, wait, I got a better one. Looks like uh, the superintendent got pested. Put on sunglasses. 
There's no blood on that statue now, but it appears like there's one missing there, uh, Clark. <laughs> Stop shooting at me! <laughs> <laughs> Right, since we don't want, can't find anything uh, here, uh, wait, maybe we should there was, there was Clark's question about the water tank. Yeah, that's true. Oh, um... I think it was how the toilets uh, worked. Is there a water tank or something, or is it just some kind of hole going down? Oh, yes, um, there will be a cistern. Um, and a chain next to it. There's like a, a cistern high up uh, at the ceiling. You, and you pull a chain, it'll drop the water down. But uh, plumbing is probably way too small for for um, for a whole statue of mast. Was the statue gone or uh, was it cleaned? Because I thought it was cleaned. The there were two statues. Go ahead. Sorry, yeah, there, there was two statues, one's missing and all you've got is a uh, clean bit in the dust, which indicates the, there was a statue there on the table, but there is no statue now. Oh, okay. So you want to check the, the cistern for if there's a murder weapon inside there, but yeah, it won't be, but maybe something else. So a cistern is, is, is like a hole that is full of poop now? Oh, it's no, a... No, it's just water. Ah, okay. It's just a water tank. Yes, you can look into it and it's empty. There's uh, nothing in the uh, in the water. It will be uh, growing dark now because it's um, winter and um, it goes dark about sort of five o'clock, so... The shadows are lengthening as you are making your investigation. All right, I'm, into the laundry. I'm writing all the notes and making them public. If you can see them, let me know. Perhaps we should make a timeline of some sort. So Enrico finds the guy in his room. Then the guy goes to the bathroom, is killed there, is then dumped again in Enrico's room. And then he Unless runs. we're handling a shapeshifter or something. And Enrico said that Maxwell, he caught Maxwell in his room and they had an, an argument and then uh, Enrico just um, run off uh, in, uh, you know, after having this argument with the chief inspector and which is when you caught him and just had an argument with him. He, he claims that he's not uh, not killed him. Then Jellico and Omar's room are pretty well placed um, to actually facilitate the murder. Remember, it also might be one of the help. Someone could have been in the library and overheard the argument, but... Yeah, I'm going to check the library. Have a look in the library. The library is all in order. It doesn't look like there's anything out of place in the library. And all the other guests um, were uh, downstairs, you think. Hmm. All right, so check at the servants' quarters, see if there's anything I missed down there. Um, should we let Enrico go? No. Sounds like a weird place for, for anyone from outside of our little circle to actually get up to Enrico's room unseen, then murder someone, then actually get away. We can check the hands of everyone if they have bloody hands. Wounds on the hands from the rope, I mean. Ah, that's a good idea. Okay, you um, will check um, everybody's um, hands. Um, everyone will have um, 
clean hand apart from uh, Omar, Omar Mohammed, um, the uh, visiting archaeologist. Apologies, coughing. Um, and also, um, you will notice that um, Jonathan Jellico he has actually got um, some uh, cuts on uh, on his right hand. Care to explain those, Mr. Jellico? Well, um, I was um, in the uh, garden earlier, and um, I um, I slipped somewhat and put my hand down and um, and, and cut myself on the, on the gravel. It, it is nothing. Yes. Um, also. Armstrong Prothero, um, he has a an old, old, old scar tissue on there. His hands look uh, quite clean though. Uh, well, it, that was earlier this morning, but um, everyone who saw me um, earlier, I was in the uh, bathroom. In fact, when um, when I heard the commotion and, um, and and came out and joined everybody um, in the hall. Uh, the bathroom downstairs, of course. <laughs> my only, the only thing I can do with my character is get them into a room and try to intimidate them into telling the truth, which I don't think is a good idea because we're trying to get money from these people. He doesn't seem like a guy who's easily intimidated either. I'm gonna start from the dumb, uh, the dumb waiter downstairs again and try and look for tracks or anything that led from there. To, uh... Yeah, o Omar's hands were dirty with dirt or something else. Um, they were. Um, he, he's got um, dirt under his uh, fingernails, and they they look uh, sort of dusty and not very well washed. There doesn't appear to be any abrasions on them or anything like that, though. He's been digging around in gardens, man. No. Well, he's an archaeologist. Yeah. Why don't you guys interview the people and I will try to... No, I don't have investigate. I want to check the rooms. I can go with you and roll investigation. I don't know if you can help me. Uh, not really. I have tracking and I... that's pretty much it. Um, no, not really. More like ground in dirt from um, not washing your hands very often. <laughs> he just oh, came back from a big vlog. Uh, so, uh, William Banks is here too, by the way. Just uh, he is, yes, uh, Sir Banks. Um, right, that's good. This is a frightfully troubling situation, he says. It would uh, bring um, a, a, some scandal upon me it should uh, should the word get out that there was murders at my uh, at my mansion. We, we, I'm eager to get to the bottom of it. Can we have everyone on your staff come here and we uh, so we can check their hands as well? Very well. I'll I'll just um go and uh, summon them, and uh, we could um I'll, I'll bring them all into the drawing room, perhaps. Yeah. Do you have anyone that you hired recently? Um. Well, no. I I know most of the uh, servants. I think I know all of them, really. Um. Yes. They've all um, served me in uh, some capacity for uh, for a long time. Okay. I'm gonna try something. <laughs> Tell me if it's too cheeky. 
when the servants come up, I recognize one of them from my army days. I use this card. <laughs> nice. Absolutely, yes, you can do that. So, um, Sir William Branks will disappear and be gathering up the serving staff, and they will um, eventually um, return and uh, you know, in, in dribs and drabs, back to the drawing room as they're uh, summoned. Um, and uh, one of the the men, you'll see a uh, cook. Um, he is um, a he's probably in his forties uh, now. Um, he's John. His name is John Smith, and you recognise him from your army days. He uh, used to serve in the canteen back when you were in, uh, when you were on on base. Alphonse, is that you, my friend? John, oh, you're still poisoning people. <laughs> I, I, uh, I hope not. Um, I've uh, managed to get out of uh, serving gruel now onto the, onto higher, um, more, um, more better cuisine. I am doing now. Yes, I tasted it yesterday evening. It was wonderful, top notch. Well, I'm glad you like it. Better than what we used to serve, eh? Better than rations. What's going on here? Oh, you know, we had a little uh, kerfuffle, shall we say. And we, and I'm wondering, did you see anything like in the servant quarters, like maybe in the dumbbell area? Um, I heard the, the dumbbell was uh, moving. Um, we, it was a bit odd this time of day. We only usually do it when we're serving uh, drinks or something, but I just presume someone must have uh, ordered something. But I saw the pulley wheels moving on it. Um, never came down to the servants' level, though. Uh, it was just uh, upstairs. Oh, wonderful. May I look at your hands and get your shoes, please? <laughs> uh, of course, and he'll uh, show you his hands. They um, are uh, clean and um, a few uh, old cuts on them from um, chopping things up, but uh, nothing suspicious. Just as you're checking... <laughs> Good old John. <laughs> Just as you're checking John's hands, you hear... Something smashes um, in the house. It sounds rather like a window smashing, even though it's not like a bottle. That was a window. Um, and it sounded like it was coming from, well, somewhere off to the east on the ground floor. Pop you in the drawing room. So I think that's where you were. Um, or was some of you um, staying with Enrique? I don't know who was in the drawing room and who was in the I'm running. Okay. I think uh, Clark is with Enrico. They're poking each other's wounds. <laughs> Alright. Okay, then what we have is you'll hear a um, shout, you'll hear um, Sir William Banks shout, Get off me, you fiend! It sounds like it's coming from the lounge. To the lounge. Okay, and if you bear with me a moment, I will just um, set this up. Just take me a couple of moments. Okay. Now the question is, where will I put all my new shoes? Maybe I can sell them for some money. Is there a good market for a for second-hand shoes? I don't need a good market. I need a med I can use a mediocre one, just as long as I get some money. Maybe I'll open a shoe store. 
Crazy Alphonse House of Bargains. Slippers Emporium. Man, now I feel bad I didn't ask for people's shoes in the last adventure. Oh, rippers, slippers. Ooh, that's great. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> rippers, slippers. You definitely need rippers, slippers. All right, so you um, make your way hurriedly over to the um, lounge area, and when you um, throw open the door, you notice this. Inside the window at the back, which is just on the north wall of the lounge, has been um, smashed. Inside, there are a group of thugs. Hakim, we're dead. It's always thugs. I know. You never Hakim. meet nice people in this adventure. <laughs> you don't. Know. And um, behind him, there is a um, large man, looks of Arabic. Um, it was set like an Arabic uh, man with this sort of dark skin. He's got a beard and he's wearing a long black cloak. Obviously one of the good guys. And um, they are at the moment grappling with um, poor Sir William Banks. And they appear to be um, sort of manhandling him towards the, the window. Get off me you fiends, he cries out as we go into round. As we go into rounds, oh, Hakim goes first. Okay, Hakim will. He's open the door. As we open the door. <laughs> Sorry, me uh, shuffling through. He begins to um, speak in an arcane tongue and um, he um, points his um, arms out, splays his palms towards you and a ball of swirling um, darkness um, moves, flies towards you out into the hallway and as it does it erupts into a, an explosion of blackness. Let me have a look at the, um, I think it's a medium burst time. Goes here, so it gets everybody but Alphonse, who's just out of the blast radius. The, w the one who's a tank? Okay. Sorry. You could have, I, I guess you could have um, rearranged yourself if you wanted. I just sort of plonked you on there. Sorry, I didn't know who was going to go first. Um, no, no, it's, uh, it's fine, it's fine. I just watch as they get consumed by darkness. Okay, his uh, yeah, shadow balls fly out um, towards you. It lands on target. And oh, it's 2d6 damage basically to everybody under there. And there's no save actually, that's a bit nasty. He doesn't count as a supernatural creature, right? Uh, he looks human. Um, Carl, you so get away I don't with it. I have righteous fury. That's a wound coming in on you, Sir Henry, if you wish to... I most soak. certainly shall soak it. Soak, 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 soak. You soak it pretty easily. And hmm. finally, just catch Clark. Sorry, Clark, I'm picking on you today. Oh, we're just shaking, that's not too... And uh, with that, he um, climbs out of the window. He's just sort of getting out of the window. Coward. Carl, you're up. Right.
I can run the other way to get outside. Hmm. Uh, I can. I can. I'm gonna shoot uh, three people then. Don't miss. These guys are paycheck. Right, is my rifle and target uh, one of them. Oh, you shot three of them with that, I think. Yep, and uh, I aim at one of them. It targets. It targets three. <laughs> Uh, so that means I have to, uh, w three power points, I guess. Yeah, just three power points. Oh, I see. You're going for a bolt. Oh. Uh, back at them. Okay, good go. Four hits. Okay. They're all shaking, that's pretty good. And then I move a bit to the side, and that's it, about what I can do, yeah. Okay, the first um, he manages to recover from the shake, and he uh, begins to um, wrestle with uh, poor Sir Banks. He uh, pulls him over towards the window here, and it looks like he's trying to sort of stuff him through the window. This thug here will... ...assist, um, so he's uh, manhandling uh, poor Sir Banks. One thug remains um, shaken from the uh, vicious blast that we had earlier. He steps forward into the doorway and takes a shot with his pistol at uh, Carl who uh, viciously just shot him with a bolt so he's going to try and get you back. Fortunately he kind of so oh, sorry I just give it the kiss of death I said he sucks with the pistol he's got a d4 minus two but Okay, he um, luckily or unluckily hits you. So that's one wound, isn't it? Two. One wound come through, you may uh, soak if you wish. Yeah, definitely. So when you move, you just move. Uh vertical or horizontal, or can you move diagonal as well? You can move diagonal, yeah. Technically, every other one should be two, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Basically, if I roll a 12, I can run all the way around to Mr. Uh, Jalil. Oh, that'd be good. If I roll a 12, what do you guys think? Should I charge from the center or from around? Well, if we can uh, prevent them from uh, hauling them away, definitely worth it. Yeah, but it's a run, so there's a chance I'll just get 7 and then I won't be close enough. Yeah, I believe that, I guess. I'll try to one for it. Of course. <laughs> and can I banny this? Or it's not a roll you can banny? Um, Anything except damage? I thought you could banny. Yeah, you can banny it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That gets me up to here. Yes. Just got line of sight, you can see him there. 
Yeah, sadly I don't have a gun yet. I just yell gibberish at him and hold out my hand. <laughs> <laughs> he likes and then throw a rock at him. <laughs> I try to scare him. He might cover. Oh, you're intimidated sadly a bit minus two because you've done the um, rushing, so... Um, oh, okay. So well, it's an automatic fail. That's fine. Yeah, I mean... You... I like, boogity, boogity, boogity! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not scary at all, you're a little out of breath and, uh, you know... <laughs> I guess that's my turn. Oh, Enrico, I'm going to take him off. I'll Give me up. this help. <laughs> He's beaten up. Uh, Sir William Banks will try and make a strength check to break free. Oh, he's doing quite well. Strength eight. I'm going to give him. Thanks, Smash. Oh, there's a bit of a um, struggle going on there, but he's got you. There's there's sort of three of them, and um, even though Lord Banks is giving a good show of it, um, struggling, making it hard for them to uh, get him through the window, they are they have still got hold of him. So Henry. Okay, I'll step forward, peek around the corner of the door, and squeeze off a shot at Doug. Grief. Um, oh. Well, but I targeted one. Uh, that was a lot of shots. Should oh. have been just Thug 4. Uh, let me just have a look. You did do Thug 4. You shot him three times. On that. Let me have a... I only rolled once. <laughs> you can set it up for multiple... Might have been something I've done. Yes, it's entirely my fault. One second. Oh yeah, there's a little tree on my uh, combat tab. Yeah, so it's not. It doesn't matter so much for this, but auto firing weapons and bolts, for example, you can do auto firing. You can right click on them now to set them to do uh, this. And I was playing around with it, and I changed yours. But uh, we'll keep the um, raise, and I'll put it back to normal. So back to one attack and. You see how great you shoot when you aim with your good eye? I actually just um, upped my f shooting skill on the last advance because I sucked so badly at it. Well done. Yeah, you recover. It can be hard as you get wounded because you, your wounds uh, make it harder to recover from the stun, so you can get into that this death spiral type thing. <laughs> Cheat your status, yeah. But not this time, you're right. I believe in you. Don't shoot our paycheck. That's a great shot. See if you can do the damage. Nicely done. Shoot him straight between the eyes and he goes down. Well, the back of the head if, it, if he's facing <laughs> banks. True, yeah. Perhaps he looks around quick and, you know, no. He hit him on the back of the head and he goes down. Head explodes like a melon. 
poor Mr. Banks is gonna need a dry cleaner. Oh, the thug here gets his chance. He um, will level his pistol at. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to have him do a push. And having he sort of gets through the window here, pushing banks. Oh, the other one recovers from the stun and he will gonna try and cover the retreat. Moves over to there and takes a shot at Clark. Completely misses, just hits the side of the wall. And he heads up to the window space. So William Banks is going to try and break free. Doesn't manage it. Alphonse. Okay, Alphonse Charles walks to the thug, and I think I'm gonna go into full echo mode. Which is the one thing I don't have on my list. Wild attack, there we go. Oh, do you want me to put wild attack on you? Ah, you got it. Okay, so not worrying too much about defending, you uh, swing wildly at him, hoping to knock him for six. That's gonna hurt. That's the first one. Um, should I roll full damage first? Sure. Because you could always step up and you know have the attack against other one against someone else. Like slicing clean in half. Okay. And mm. then I guess I'll just walk forward one, just to block them. Can I do that? Sure. Uh, okay, so that will be my turn. Well, have you only had one of your attacks? You can have the other attack if you... Oh, okay. I'll totally do that. Like I meant to from the start. That's <laughs> alright. Just put the turn back on you. Boogly, boogly, boogly. You hit my bad guy. Meanie. Damn, very good. Okay, he's a bit stunned by the blow, but he's still up. That's for screaming and gibberish at my friends. Oh, he uh, recovers from that. And... Uh, Never mind! <laughs> It looks quite tough, this guy. He begins to um, chant once more in some dark, un arcane, unholy tongue. And around you, um, a, a dark mist begins to um, whip up and it um, slowly rises and envelops you in a complete, utter dark can't see anything. One second. Is it really a dark and holy tongue or is it just a Yorkshire accent? <laughs> yeah, it could be. Or a Stoke-on-Trent accent like mine, yeah. 
All right, so there's a globe of darkness around there, which means that you can no longer see what's going on within it. Oh, I can't actually hide, Alphonse. You know where you are, Alphonse. Um, That's very philosophical. <laughs> However, you don't know where these uh, folks have gone, the baddies. Uh, do I know where uh, Banks is, or did he disappear as well? Yeah, Banks is, uh, well, he's calling out, he'll be like, get off me, you villains! Um, you'll be able to hear him in the darkness, so you'll have a rough idea where he is. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna start stabbing randomly around me. It's generally a minus six to hit. You'll uh, go for a target square and it's minus six. Try to dodge our randomly fired bullets then. <laughs> I like the mods. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can just spray bullets around. <laughs> so, Clark, what would you like to do? Minus one because of wounds or knowledge? Um, yeah, because of his wounds. You're in pain, so it makes it hard to do anything. So, yeah, you do and sadly get the minus these two at any trait. But um, what would you like to do with that? It's a pass, though, knowledge of cult. Just want to try and know about these guys. Maybe f to figure out how to disperse the darkness so we can shoot them. Okay, he's talking in a satanic tongue. Um, it was a, um, a, a darkness spell that he created. These people um, are surely um, occultists using the um, dark arts. They look um, organised um, somewhat. You're not sure exactly what cult they belong to. There's no markings on them, which is odd, which means that they are probably trying to be um, clandestine in their approach here. Um, the thugs actually look like they're cultists themselves. They look quite fanatical um, in their in their eyes. Not your average uh, thug that I throw at you. Um, these look like thugs with purpose. There you go. Lindwind that... lives. I hope that helps. Oh, actually, I'll tell you something else. I'll give you with the darkness is that um, a lot of, um, sort of satanic. Creatures use darkness and gain um, power from being in darkness and in dark places. It can be a source of power for them. <laughs> He's not really a supernatural being, sadly. He's just a human um, wizard. But you might get to use that soon. <laughs> I don't think any lantern gonna help in the supernatural darkness, I suppose. No, sorry, not this uh, this dark. Maybe a supernatural lantern. You can Maybe. do supernatural light uh, to cancel it, but I don't think any yeah, of you got it. Yeah. Yeah, we can get a green la lantern. That would help. I'll call John Smith to help. <laughs> I don't think he want to. Is that you done, Clark? Is there anything else you want to do? Do you want to move or anything? Run to the other side of the darkness, see if we can spot whoever comes out of it. Yeah, you can try and shoot there if you wish. Yeah, it's uh, basically minus six and that's it. Yeah, you point at the square. So uh, make a um, 
Roll at minus six and just pop it into the uh, window. You attack the darkness. I fire magic miso. <laughs> Um, yeah, with your bolt um, spell, your magic missile, yeah, it's still there, uh, sadly, a minus six to hit. Um, so you'll need a ten on your spell casting. Die. I don't think Clock can do magic. Oh, sorry. All 8 bit theater reference. I can, yeah, I can see where you're aiming there, yeah. Oh no, that was Sir Henry. Oh yeah, the blue arrow is mine, the black one should be Carl's. Okay, Carl, He's yeah. aiming at me. Oh, so close. Um, what was the minus seven? Oh yeah, you're minus six and one for your wound. Um, sadly, it's, it's a hit. It's, no, it's a hit. Um, on... That square there, sadly, it would have hit. It hits very accurately onto that square, but there's nothing in that square, I'm sorry. Don't shoot at me. So it's, still, it's still a miss. Sorry. Guys, I suspect Clark is a double agent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if you want to show me where you're uh, moving. <laughs> medically poking, medically poking. And we'll just get to the end of this turn and then we'll um, finish up for the day. I've just noticed the time. Okay, you get there and you will bump into um, someone right in front of you. A soft, squishy, cultist-like uh, person you bump into. Feels like he's in the square just above you. Ah, okay. I was gonna fire um, in the direction of the blue arrow, but apparently um, Clark ran off in that direction. You should so... totally do that. You don't see Clark. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you know, he climbed out of that window is, <laughs> and he's outside fighting cultists for his life. Do the right thing, Sir Henry. Okay, I'll... Um, hmm. That's Run the cult the talking. Don't believe them. <laughs> <laughs> Shouting. Um, and I'm going to attack this square here. Uh, let me get a pointer here. Guys, these cultists can mis uh, can uh, disguise their voice to sound like Clark. <laughs> Shoot. All okay, right. and I'm gonna stab it with my rapier. Good luck. Minus six swish. It's actually quite scary in there. Um, if you ever been, good shot. Well, actually, it wasn't. It's a miss, but you don't hit your mate, which is nice. Could Benny it if you wish, because we're going to finish um, after calls go. Uh, trying to find my character sheet under all these windows. Oh, I know the feeling. Now's a good time to throw a grenade. <laughs> Carl, just saying. Okay, I'm going to quickly spend my last Benny on this one then. Or no, wait, until I, perhaps I'll get hit, so... All right. Uh, was there uh, only the window by the blue arrow, or was it possible to get through other ways there? 
there's a window um, by the blue arrow and I'll say there's one slightly to the east of it, it'll be a big window. So where the blue arrow is on the square east of that, there, there's a window in both of those squares. So there are two right of banks, I can uh, get out there if I charge through. Sure. I'm gonna try that, hope I don't bump into something in the night. Uh, I'm gonna run, uh, run at full and uh, afterwards probably attack something on the other side if there, I spot something. If you miss, you run full speed into the wall anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> well done. At that speed, you'll just leave a Carl-sized hole in the wall. <laughs> uh, Alright, did I get here without bumping into anything? Um, let me just... Um... If I put you there and lock the token, then if you drag from your token, you can show me the direction you're going to take. So if you like left click and drag, that's it, and then you can pick it up from the end of that and move it on again. And then the end of the line you can grab and that's it. Okay, so in that case, get to... You get to there, and directly east of you, you bump into something big and roby. There's someone standing just to the east of you. Right. Can I hit it? You can. Good luck. That was a fighting at minus six, was it? Fighting at minus six, though, this is the last um, action of the session, so you may as well spend all your bennies on this, I guess. Go for it. Right, let's try again. <laughs> yeah, Alphonse is there. What's going on? Last one. Use your card. Yeah, I can't show power settings. I can't see in close combat, I guess. But so, and then wait, it's too late now. I guess all of those were misses. Yeah, you swish around a lot, but um, yeah, sadly, yeah, don't manage to connect with anything. However, we're going to leave it there for today. Uh, thank you very much for playing. I'm going to give you some X. Oh, thank you for running. I hope that was fun, and I will see you all in two weeks' time. All right, thank you so much for running. You're welcome. It's good fun there. I enjoy um, running for you guys. It's uh, good fun. It's nice. You're a, a, a ready-made group, I love it. Thanks, guys. It's been a lot of fun. See you in two weeks. Take care. See you Take soon. Care.